So I have played a little bit uh, with the spreadsheet module. Uh, the problem for me was uh, to manage all the data to configure a NERD surface. And I will give a short demo. So we start and the first thing what we do is we create a spreadsheet. And I generate some test data and write the data into the spreadsheet. I have the number of poles here and starting from line 10 I have oh I here have the Z coordinate of the poles and these are the X and the Y values and then there is a method to generate from these data here a surface. I call it table to nerd. So and now we have it here. And what I can do is uh, I can go into the spreadsheet and change a value and then I recompute the surface. At the moment there is a new uh, surface created. Okay, this is the first part. Um, then the next thing what I can do is I can say give me a subset of the table. This is the table here seven the, the dimension seven and, and thirteen and I can select a sub area of this array and create a subsurface. So let's do it again. The syntax is similar. Uh, this is the start point in U direction with nine cells and the start point in the Y connection with with 11 cells and then there is another nerve this is moved in one direction with two this is this direction two cells and in the other direction there is a move of one this is here um, and I can create a larger nerve two Now this one, so I delete this two. And the next what I do is I uh, change once more a cell. In this case I do not change the value here in my spreadsheet. I change it only in the array and repeat the command to create the next nerve. So we, we see we have changed here the coordinates of 6, 8 to 2000 and have created here uh, a mountain again. And I can repeat this process to get more and more modified surfaces. So the next thing what I can do is uh, to c 
create uh, data using uh, numpy or the scipy. That means I have here uh, in x uh, an interval from minus 5 to 5 steps uh, a half. This is the xy and z uh, is an array with 20 values in each direction. So, and what I can do now is I can set the spreadsheet, this one, to the values of x, y, and z. And now I have here 20 values in each direction and all the values are here calculated. Uh, what we have is a function, uh, the sin of the square of x and the square of uh, y. That means I will get a sin uh, image of something like a circle. And again, we can visualize the data takes a little moment and okay we recalculate it and now we see this model here okay I hide the control points and we have uh, it here so uh, the next thing what I can do is I set here once again one value to 5 and recalculate the surface. This is the initial one. I can hide it and you see here now there is a new mountain at this po position. So uh, next thing what I can do, I can set a bigger area to a new value and set again the values back to the spreadsheet. And then I create a new surface. So, and now we have here the mountain. Okay, I hide the old one. And we see we have set the z value of the pole to 3 for this area uh, and this is exactly this here. So uh, what can I do next? The next thing is uh, I calculate another function means z is uh, polygon of degree 3 in x and uh, plus um, the square of y and then I have to scale it a little bit back and I write my data back to the spreadsheet and generate the NURBS from the spreadsheet. So from here we, we see the quadratic function, this is this value, and this is the polynom of degree 3. Okay, once more, another example the sum of uh, a square and a linear function. 
so I have to delete this uh, no, not not the sum of this sinus function of of x and uh, the square of of y. Maybe this is a useful pattern, but I only want to demonstrate that I only need one uh, expression to calculate such an interface. And I can store all the data here into the spreadsheet. And can always change a value in the spreadsheet and recalculate the nerves. 